hi, I didn't see you there. Come in, come in. Let me give you a tour of my room in like that big epic space over there where I do all the creative stuff. So let's get right into it. Welcome to my room. It's a small room, so I had to make do with a lot of things in it. That's why it took a while to get this video up. If you guys want to see my setups, some of my previous setups, I'll uh, click the, this playlist right there. Right before we get started, uh, here's a quick word from our sponsor, which is PDF Elements. PDF Elements is a PDF document editor that lets you easily create, edit, convert, and annotate forms and documents. It's available on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android, and here are some of the features. To start off, PDF Element has a whopping 300% startup speed. PDF Element also has added cloud storage. The highlighting tool is pretty useful, and to really annotate. There's also an underlining tool, commenting tool, where you can access it right here. Another feature of PDF Element is being able to convert um, PNG images into PDF through their OCR technology. I went ahead and dropped it in, and as you can see this button, click perform OCR. The OCR gives you a couple of options. You can change the document language. It turned this image into an edible PDF document. Last and final feature of PDF Element is being able to create digital signatures. One of the cool ways is being able to do a stamp and i like to put my logo sign my name all in all pdf elements is a great alternative to costly programs such as odb acrobat and it's half of the cost there's one-time payment options available so there's a link down below with a bunch of resources about pdf elements as well as a 45 percent off coupon code if you guys want to get this and i just want to say thank you for pdf elements for sponsoring this section of the video let's begin everything at the entrance my door it's not fancy it kind of looks very messy but what i have over there is a hook to put all my coats and quick access stuff masks hats and then right next to that like you see a wall all of bags I use thumbtacks to put in some more bags that it's quickly accessible then on the floor some more bags and then if you turn again you see this giant kind of wall it's my closet door because it almost fell on me it did fell on me almost fell on me fully but I have it there because it's hard to open my closet and I just use it use it as a way to hang up my um, towel after I take a shower it's a good place I have some cute bags in here um, one of them is chopper I'm a big one piece fan is chopper is one of my favorite characters so I have a little plush bag of him and then those other bags um they're from different stores all right, so if we pan around from the doorway, we have my keys <laughs> and my wallet. Um, it's in the shape of a donut. I got it at Walmart and I have an umbrella there. That's also from Walmart, easily accessible. And then if you pan down a little bit, it's a TV area. I got this TV stand from the trash. My neighbor was throwing it away, decided to kind of trick it and um clean it and it turned out really nice and on my tv stand i have a couple of controllers i have my ps4 controller and this christmas i actually got a couple of xbox controllers and they're really nice i don't have any game console here i play all my game on my pc and my switch and my switch is actually outside uh but underneath that is a bunch of miscellaneous thing i usually store like camera equipment my laptop anything i'm reviewing and things like that um, and then on top of the tv stand and besides the TV, I have a couple of plush. I have this pit plug plush that makes this noise. And it's so cute. I got it at Goodwill for like $2. So it was a good deal. I have my soft rock lamp and then the other plush for scroll up on top of the TV is an alpaca. If we scroll up into the wall area, we have a lot of decoration. The first couple ones is like a quote, an old drawing of my persona. I got a couple mirrors I got from Dollar Tree cloud mirrors i have um this wheel one um it's really nice and then in between that i have my web development certificate degree i'm a certified web developer and then we slide out to more of the desk area which is the setup right underneath we have my pc my pre-built pc i actually did a whole video of this built where you guys can check out right here um, she's my baby her name is ignite and ignore my cable management i tried my best but it's still kind of sucky so i'm gonna live with it for now if we scroll 
up a little bit all the way to the top we have a digital wall clock that i got on amazon this one has a remote that switches and then underneath that i have a frame of my goals for 2020 we get into the meat at the desk area the first thing first is this microphone it's a it's kind of this cheap bootleg microphone it works um it sounds good but i have to be super close to it on my desk i have this tablet which is the vike this model number uh will have some more videos on my channel soon and then we have this giant mouse pad which i love and then we have my keyboard my keyboard was kind of cheap um it lights up it's white my monitors my monitors are some cheap acer monitors and my speakers are these pebble white pebble speakers um they were 20 bucks and then in the middle of that i have this like little house thing that shows the date that i got from dollar tree so and then i have my pen tablet pen and then my mouse my favorite mouse the logitech G502. I love this mouse. I'm trying to save up to get the wireless version of it. It's so ergonomic. Oh, and there's so much shortcuts. Love it for video editing and gaming. Underneath my desk, I have this little fuzzy footrest that I got at Five and Below. And then I have my IKEA Alex drawers where I store a lot of my electronics. I use um, these dividers that fit perfectly for the Alex drawers. I link them down below as well. There's so much space for storage and Here's a quick glance at it because I don't feel like going through everything in my drawers. Um, and then on top of my desk, I have these touch uh, touch light lamp lamp. It was fifteen dollars. Amazon also link it down below. Um, the reason I really like it because it gets really really bright and also um, I can unplug it and it can still hold battery for like an hour, a couple hours depending on which settings you had it on. And then if you scroll up on the wall, back on the wall again, I have this giant checklist. I'm um, chalk checklist board. That was I got it for five dollars at Walmart. And. I have some more quotes that I got from, from Dollar Tree. On the wall, there's a couple more of my drawings. I did one of Earth Charm, my own spin of it. And then I did a Donald Duck one as well. And then to the side of my wall, I have two headphones. My two headphones, one's the Logitech headphones. I really, really like, but the mic sucks on it. And then I have my cat gaming headphones. I really like those, but because it squishes my head and it's uncomfortable with glasses for long periods of time. And then if we scroll up some more, the more decoration i have my um i have my associates degree up there there's my mirror that i got from family dollar and i decorated with a bunch of flowers from dollar tree and we get to the bed area my bed frame i got from ikea um i really wanted a bed that looks like a couch so this one is a day bed it's kind of the cheapest day bed that ikea has and even with the mattress and everything it came or it came up to around 400 dollars. and there's so much storage underneath you could pull it out and it could become a big bed the leaves and flowers are from dollar tree the leaves um i bought a couple of those the leaves works great um the flowers were the um hawaiian flowers i kind of cut them up and kind of like wrap them around my bed frame and my led lights i got from amazon my bed sheets are from amazon they're totoro i'm a big hayao miyazaki fan my pillows they're i don't know where they're, where they're from they're from various places um uh, and i have this care bear uncle one for me um at a fair and i'm a big fan of care bears as well this one is the grumpy one and he keeps me company at night on the wall i have a couple of things for decoration number one is this backpack that i got on ebay brown shells i got at five and below the pikachu plush i got that at five and below as well um the eevee plush was actually um a gift the lanterns from dollar tree as well um the um octangular shape shelves are from dollar tree as well flowers inside um the shelves are from dollar tree as well the figurines were a birthday present two figurines one is like a, a sailor moon and then the other is miku hatsune and then now we get over to my vanity slash closet area and the first thing is my giant blue exorcist poster um i'm big Blue exorcist fan it's really nice it's kind of like the centerpiece of my room um if i had the space i would get one for one piece as well one piece is my one of my top five blue exorcist is still 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 top on there um and then i have everything up on this cube organizer that i got at walmart and i just store all my clothes in there and then on top of that i have my jewelry area my jewelry box doesn't have any jewelry <laughs> much jewelry in it i used it to store a lot of knickknacks um, like hair bands, wig caps, berets, and things like that because it's just convenient. And then on top of that, I have my actual jewelry tree that I got 
on eBay and it's a colorful way for me to hang all my jewelry. Right next to that I have a piggy bank and it's really nice. I use it to store coins for laundry. I have this heart thing that has some more jewelry that I don't wear as much as often. That one is from Dollar Tree. My makeup stuff, um, the a couple mirrors I got from all over the place. but. As you guys can see, the trends is a lot of the knickknacks and stuff I could either get at Dollar Tree, Five and Below, a lot of cheap stores because I like to save on every other area that I can so that I can invest all my money into tech. I have a couple of bags that I got from various um, places and a couple of berets. Um, the wall decal, the llama wall decal that I also have um, by my desk area is also from Dollar Tree and I thought it was really, really cute. And then in that little corner there, I have like a wood mannequin head that stores my, my favorite wig. And then like over that whole corner is just filled with wigs. And then underneath is actually a little suitcase that has all my cosplays. We have my laundry basket and then my closet. My closet is crazy. There's not that much space. The other side is really hard for me to use because I can't really pull out the door. And then in the corner of that, I have some of my filming equipments, tripods, different backgrounds and stuff. And then if you scroll top at the top of the closet, I have all the boxes for my electronics and stuff. I like to keep a lot of the boxes just because I think the packaging looks pretty. And then I forgot to mention my chair. My chair is from Amazon. So I'm really happy that I found this one. It's comfortable enough. This one doesn't have the leg rest thing. And if you guys are wondering, that's watch my previous setup videos. Where's all your art stuff? Well, I move all that stuff outside since my room is like super tiny. So I'll include all of that in a full apartment door that's gone. I'm gonna be coming soon on the channel. I'm gonna link everything down below. So if I'm missing anything, let me know if you guys want to know where I got it from. Um, a lot of the stuff I got online or I get a discount store. So if you don't have the exact stuff at your own one, just keep checking in here and then because like Dollar Tree always varies. And also another tip is try to go to these discount stores in uh, richer neighborhoods because they probably have a lot better stuff. That's personally what I do and stuff. Um, I notice Dollar Trees in nicer neighborhoods um, tend to get better stuff compared to like lower income neighborhoods and things like that and if you guys have any other questions comment or concerns leave them down below and i'll catch you guys in my next one